Shalom warm. All praises to Yahweh by Shami Hawashai, by Hashem Makar Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and Shalom to the elect to the nation of Israel. This is going to be a lesson going into the um, scriptures that mention the color of the people of the Bible, all right, or mention the color specifically of the Israelites, all right, because there's a lot of people that have a problem with that. They have a problem with dark skin, right? They have a problem with so called black people. They have a problem with any race that is not considered Caucasian. Yeah, at the same time, they're talking about the Bible, which, and, it, and at the same time, they're talking about Yahweh Shai. They're talking about the Savior. They're talking about the Messiah. When they don't understand that the Messiah is dark skinned, all right? And I'm about to prove that in this video right now with the scriptures, all right? So the first scripture I got is Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7. Now, I already know that videos like this make people emotional, but it is what it is, and you're angry, not with me. You're angry with the Bible, all right? And the reason why you're angry is because really you're not pure and really you're evil, all right? Which you might not want to believe that, but hey, why would you be angry with the Bible then? This is Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7. And Yahweh formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul. So men was made from the ground of the earth. Now, what color is the ground? All right, the ground is dark, man. The ground of the earth is very dark. And if people want to say, well, the dark, the skin, the, the um, earth is not dark, well, then they've got to explain how the hell the earth could be look like a so called white man's skin, right? Red, different shades of pink, and then somehow we come out. Where, where do we come from then? Because last time I checked, I don't see any, um, any so-called black people come out of the loins of white men, so-called white men, Edomites, right? But I do see people that look like, um, that look that are so-called black. I do see them having children come out that are so-called white. Now, people say albino all they want, but that's what Esau is, an albino, all right? He's just, um, he's just a clean one because he hasn't got, he hasn't got a patches of darkness on his skin. There's like, and just to say that, I'm not saying that dark skin is a problem. I'm saying that if a dark skin man had got some patches of white on his skin, all right, some patches of red to be more specific, he's he's got a leprosy in his skin, right? Whereas if also a so called white man has, hasn't got his leprosy, which leprous, the white skin is leprosy, the pale skin is leprosy, according to the Bible in the book, book of Leviticus, then that means that he's, his leprosy isn't clean. It only becomes a clean leper when the pale when the pale skin the the um, pale flesh is all over the skin. But then when they get a sunburn, it becomes dirty. And you don't have to believe me. You can just read Leviticus the thirteenth chapter, the whole chapter. Just read it. Now I've shown that um, men were born of the dust of the earth. Now I'm going to show some other scriptures, all right? And specifically, I'm going to go straight to Yahweh Shai, in fact, straight to the Messiah and his skin color. Because people will say, oh, this guy is racist. Well, the Bible's a racist book for starters, but the truth ain't right. The truth is the truth racist. This is the Revelation chapter 1 and verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about a patch with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes was a flame of fire. So his hair, hair on his head was white, the hair on his beard was white. Verse 15, and his feet like unto fine brass, if they burned in a furnace, and his voice is the sound of many waters. Now, that means that his skin was dark, extremely dark, man, an extremely dark brown colour. Brass is already brown. <clears throat> and if you burn brown, if you burn any colour, even if you burn something that's white, it's going to become dark. It's not going to get lighter for the burning. So that lets you know that you have a shy which is the Messiah, which is the Son of God, that he was dark. And I don't understand why people have got a problem with this. Now, a lot of people are already going to say, well, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Why does it matter? Well, if it didn't matter, why did some people lie about it then? Why did people lie about it? If it didn't matter, why have you got a problem with me bringing it out? If it didn't matter, why wouldn't they just tell the truth if salvation really was for everyone? Or maybe... 
salvation is not for everyone, which it's not, by the way. All right, now, the reason why I'm speaking in this way and people might be like, oh, this is a bit of a um, aggressive way of speaking. Well, you, it's a bold way of speaking, man. It's a bold way of speaking because we're tired of liars. We're tired of people trying to make out like we ain't nothing on the earth when we're the people of the Bible. This is Songs chapter Song of Solomon chapter 1 and verse 5. And this is King Solomon speaking. To prove it, I'll go to verse 1. Song of Solomon chapter 1 and verse 1. The Song of Songs, which is Solomon's. All right, so this is Solomon's song. And it's about him. This is him speaking. Verse 5. I am black but comely, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kedar, as the curtains of Solomon. Look not upon me because I am black, because the sun have looked upon me. My mother's children were angry with me. They made me the keeper of the vineyards, but my own vineyard have I not kept. So he's letting him know that he's extremely dark, man. But why why, why are people why have people hid that? Why have people tried to lie about that? Why have they lied, man? If it don't matter, why did you lie? Like any any time in life when someone's lying, they're doing it for a reason because if they didn't, if they told the truth, then something would happen that's against them. That's why they lie, man. Simple as that. Men lie, women lie. The scriptures don't lie, man. The scriptures say what it says. And when you read the scriptures and the Spirit's guiding you, it's clear and it's plain as day what the scriptures are saying. Now, let me go to another scripture. This is Amos. Amos chapter 9 and verse 7. Amos 9 and verse 7. Are ye not as the children of the Ethiopians unto me, O children of Israel? What does that mean? It means that the Israelites are similar in, 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 in appearance to Ethiopians. All right? But they're not Ethiopians. They're Israelites. And Ethiopians are what shade of colour? Brown, which is also the shade of colour that we are. Different shades. Some lighter and some darker. There's a lot of Israelites that are darker than me. And there's a lot of Israelites that are lot lighter than me, but it's all they're all Israelites. Now, on a side note, you're an Israelite based on your father being an Israelite. So if I have a child with an, with a woman from India, that child's an Israelite. Doesn't matter what they come out like. If I have a child with a woman from Japan, that child's an Israelite. If I have a child with a so-called white woman, that's an Israelite. If I have a child with any woman of any nation, right, that child is an Israelite, no matter what they look like. But that doesn't change the facts that the scriptures say, what they say about the colour of the people in the Bible. Now, there will be other people that are Israelites that may not fit into this particular colour scheme. But the fact is, you still have to speak the truth, man. And this is things that people don't want to hear. But if you're a person of the truth, then you're going to hear that. You're going to allow, you're going to allow your body, your spirit to obtain this knowledge. Don't the scriptures say, and you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. And that's why it's important to know these things. It's important to know everything that the Bible speak of. And you can't be going around saying that Yahweh Shai died for your sins, but then you're angry about his image. Because that means that really you're a liar. Let me get another scripture. This is Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 2. This is Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 2. Yahweh Shai... No, let me, Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 2, excuse me. Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 2. Judah mourneth and the gates of languish, they are black unto the ground, and the cry of Jerusalem is gone up. Now that word black in Jeremiah 14 and 2 is quadar, Q-A-D-A-R, and that word means dark-skinned, all right? So it's saying that the tribe of Judah is dark-skinned people. And if the tribe of Judah is a dark-skinned people, it only makes sense that all the tribes are going to be a dark-skinned people. Simple as that. Now Paul wasn't of the tribe of Judah. Paul was from the tribe of Benjamin. And what does it say about him? What did he get mistaken for? I'm going to read that. Just in case people say, nah, it don't mean, it doesn't mean what I'm saying there. This is Acts chapter 21 and verse 37. And as Paul was led up into the castle, he was, he was unto the chief captain. He said unto the chief captain, may I speak unto thee, who said, canst thou speak Greek? Art thou not that Egyptian? So the chief captain thought that Paul was an Egyptian, all right, which he wasn't. He was an Israelite, all right? Art thou not that Egyptian which before these which before these days made an uproar and led us out 
into the wilderness, 4,000 men that were murderers. So Paul was had the image, Paul was mistaken for an Egyptian, man, as was Joseph mistaken for an Egyptian when he blended in among them and, and hid himself from his brothers after they sold him into slavery. And he was in among them and brought up to a high position under Pharaoh. His brothers didn't recognize him. But if he was a so-called white man, they would have known, hang on, how's, why's, what's his white guy doing among these um, Egyptians? But they thought he was an Egyptian also, all right? So there's further proof there. Now, there's many more There's many more things. Here's another one, all right? Here's another scripture. This is Exodus chapter 4. This is Exodus chapter 4 and verse 6. And Yahweh, and Yahweh said furthermore unto him, Put now thine hand in thy bosom. And he put his hand into his bosom, and when he took it out, behold, his hand was was leprous as snow. And he said, Put thine hand up into thy bosom again. And he put his hand into his bosom and plucked it out of his bosom, and behold, it was turned again as his other flesh, meaning it went darker. Meaning it went darker, man. And Moses was also among the Egyptians, and he was of was was an Israelite. All right, so that's three men that was that was in, among the um, Egyptians, man. Or well, that was mistaken for um, dark-skinned people. Moses was mistaken for an Egyptian, all right? Joseph was mistaken for an Egyptian, and Paul was. So that's three people from three different tribes. Moses from the tribe of Levi, Paul from the um, tribe of Benjamin, and then Joseph was was um the um, progenitor of both Manasseh and Ephraim so there's the there's the proof right there man and there'll be people that are still gonna have a problem with this but for you that understand and know these things and want to hear these things well now you've learned a few scriptures to show that this color within the scriptures and that the color of the people in the bible especially the Israelites was dark-skinned so-called black people all right so for this lesson was done for you people shalom to the elected nation of Israel shalom Thank you.